Hi, today we're going to look at something called Game Bandwidth Product, which is a characteristic of all operational amplifiers, and it shows how their, their frequency falls as we increase the gain. So the more gain you try to use with an operational amplifier, the less bandwidth you get out of it. You, in Multisim, you can double-click on the component, and you can find its Gain Bandwidth Product here. This one's given a 0 0.437 megahertz. If you check the data sheets, that's the value you'll be given for a minimum. A typical value given for most data sheets is 1.5 megahertz. Um, we will see that this doesn't have any bearing on the simulation when we do it. We're going to record all of our results in a table. We're going to have a normal gain we're going to show how that gain can be converted to dBs because when we're doing the analysis, it's done in decibels. We're going to show what the cutoff frequency is. That's the half power point. That's the bandwidth of the system. Minus 3 dB from its maximum power. And we're going to calculate the gain bandwidth product. To find out what gain would be in decibels, we can use this equation here. Gain in decibels is equal to 20 log 10 the output voltage divided by the input voltage. And to quickly show you how that's done, I'm going to use this gain, a gain of 40 here with this system. And I'm going to show you how it's done with an online calculator. So if I can find one of those somewhere, there we are. Uh, let's clear it all. So we'll take the example 40 log and then multiply it by 20. And you see it comes out 32.04, as you knew it would, of course. And you can do the same for all of these and populate this table. And it will be important. We're going to look at the first one here as a gain of 10. So the first simulation we're going to do is going to use a gain of 10. And we will see that the gain is 20 in dBs when we do the sim. So back into multi-sim. We're going to double click on this node here, node node 10. That's the node we're going to be testing. It's the output node of the LM741. We go into simulate, analysis, and choose AC analysis. You can leave everything here pretty much as it is, but you do need to make sure that node 10 is in the selected variables for analysis on the output. And then having done all that, you can do your simulation but before I do I'm just going to change this 100k resistor here down to 90k so we get a gain of 10. You'll recall that a gain for a non-inverting amplifier is 1 plus in this case R1 over R2. So this would give us a gain of 10 now. So back into simulate analysis, AC analysis, drag it up there simulate it and you get a lovely big graph which you can maximize toggle the grid toggle the cursors you can do it for both the top grid or the top readout is the amplitude readout and i'm going to drag my first cursor all the way over to there and i'm going to find the minus 3 db point and the cutoff frequency for that minus 3 db point and what we're looking for is dy the change in y so a minus 3 dB change in Y will be the cutoff frequency for this system. I won't be able to get it spot on. This is old software now. But I will be able to get it quite close. There we go. So minus 3.057. About as close as I can get it in the time I've got. And we can therefore read the frequency at this point, which is going to be X2. The frequency is X2. And it's 144 kilohertz. So you can pop that very quickly into the table. Hundred and forty four kilohertz. Wonderful. Go back here just to prove what we were talking about in terms of DB, you can see without even reading the ledger, you can see that we're flat on the twenty DB point there with a gain of ten. Other thing of um, note at the cutoff frequency, the phase change should be 45 degrees so if we change there we should see dx i think it's dx no 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 dy so we've got a 
a change of 45 degrees in phase from zero down to 45 there. So the two points, in the, um, the cutoff frequency, the bandwidth for any system, at the cutoff frequency, the output will always be minus 3 dB smaller than the maximum power of the system or output of the system. Um, that's 0 0.707 times uh, the voltage in normal numbers. And the phase change will always be at 45 degrees. Now you can do the rest of the analysis yourself because it's basically a case of, of changing um, the values on the amplifier and then messing around with the cursors, reading the various values and then plotting them in the t into the table. What we did want to know though was what would the gain bandwidth product of this system be. Um, so taking the, the values we've just looked at there, it's got a gain of 10 and it's got a, a cutoff frequency, at least we measured a cutoff frequency of 144 kilohertz. So to find its gain bandwidth product, it's simply a case of multiplying those two together and you will end up with 1.44 megahertz. So when you do the next two, you're going to come out with pretty similar figures or pretty much exactly the same figures if you measure it exactly the same way. Remember, we talked about test specifications in the past. You will come out with exactly the same figures here. After you've done that, you need to then go and do this practically and compare the results here with the practical results and then write up your evaluations. Okay, bye-bye.